everyone, Dylan is at here. It's a beautiful day outside. It's almost 30 degrees, way too warm for April, but I'm not gonna complain. And today I have the pleasure of showing you this beautiful home, 31 Costain Crescent in Kitchener. It's a really charming home as you look here, nice concrete driveway, brick facade, two car garage. This is a back split, so upstairs in the back, it goes up a little bit. Really high ceilings in the basement, has a pool, beautiful home. So I'm gonna take you on a tour of this home. So when you look at the front of the home, you'll notice a nice brick facade, nice concrete driveway, some landscaping here. You have a two car garage in front of the home. So really nice curb appeal. And now we're gonna go and look inside. So this home has a back split floor plan. So when you enter the home, you enter at the ground level and you have your sort of great room and dining room. This could be a, a living space here where you can put some couches or here in this case, you have a piano, anything like that can work for that space. And then on this floor as well, you have your kitchen. There's also a nice window here and then a door going to the side of the house. So if you have your car out front, you want to bring groceries in or something like that, just another entrance to get in and out. That can also lead to the side gate to the backyard. Now I'm going to take you to the upstairs. So as I said, it's a back split, so it's only a few steps up. And immediately you have the bathroom. This is a cheater ensuite. So the primary bedroom here has access to the bedroom or the bathroom with that door there. And then you have three bedrooms upstairs. This is one of the bedrooms there. This one's sort of the medium sized bedroom. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. And then this bedroom here is the primary bedroom. And as I said, just a few seconds ago, there's a door right there into the bathroom. So it's a cheater ensuite. Nice if it's in the middle of the night, you wanna go into the bathroom real quick and you don't wanna have to leave your bedroom. Now here's a really interesting feature about this home as we go down into the basement. You may be able to tell that these ceilings are a lot higher than in most basements. Because of this layout, that ceiling is right underneath the floor of those bedrooms up there. So this is a floor and a half essentially making for really high ceiling heights. So here they have this like a living space. They have a fireplace here with a TV, couches. You can kind of sit here, hang out, watch TV, watch the game, play video games. Could be a space for kids. And then you also have a door heading out to the backyard with the swimming pool. Right now it doesn't look what it would normally look like in the summer because they have the pool cover still on. Right now it's only April, so it's not quite pool weather despite it being over 20 degrees. Then there's another bathroom down here, shower, toilet, sink, so a nice three piece. This here is the fourth bedroom in the home. What's really nice is it, since it's in the basement, it's kind of tucked away from the rest of the home. So if you do have a gas or maybe a teenager that wants a little bit of privacy, it's really nice for that. In this room here, it's being used as an office, but one thing with this house is there's a lot of different uses for the space kind of. So you have that bedroom there, that could be a bedroom. You have the living room in the front. So there's a lot of different living spaces, areas that could be used for play space for kids or a home gym. So there's a lot of different options you could use this room for. And then over here, you just have your laundry, your central vac and just some more storage. And then in the little closet on the other room is your furnace and water heater, which I don't think you really care to look at because it's not fun. <laughs> so as I said, in the backyard here, there's a swimming pool. Right now it's covered up, so you can't really see it. Of course, once it's opened up, it'll look a lot better. With a lot of space back here, all stone pavers. That entrance I was just telling you about, 
right here coming out of the basement. So it's really nice is you do have the basement walkout feature. You have a little shed here. And then if you take some steps down here, you actually have a little bit more space down here. And there's another shed. So just kind of some bonus space back here. A lot of people, if they look at the photos, wouldn't even notice this, but it's a little bit extra space for some storage. Got a little shed there, so nice to have that. So there you go. That's the video tour of 31 Coast Day and Crescent here in Kitchener. Really nice home. If you have any questions about this home, I'm a real estate agent servicing the Kitchener water of the region. So reach out to me. My contact information is going to be in the description below. I'd love to be able to help you buy a home like this or any other property in the Kitchener Waterloo region. So reach out to me there. Always willing to help new clients. Besides that, I hope you really enjoyed this video tour. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.